Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be testing Bitdefender's latest free antivirus. We'll see how it does against ransomware and also against some of the latest malware that we can get from common blacklists around the internet. About three months ago, Bitdefender discontinued their old free antivirus product, but as I mentioned, when you guys asked the last time, they're probably going to re-release it, and that's what they've done. And one of the main things with this product here is that it is now fully integrated with the premium products. So if we go into protection, you can see it looks exactly the same as the internet security version or the total security version. It just doesn't have some of the advanced features and has a lock next to them. So this is probably going to make it much easier for them to maintain this product and just brings the whole lineup together. But again, how effective is it going to be against threats? We'll find out. So to kick things off, we're actually going to do a quick ransomware test. So we're going to use the most infamous samples from the last five years, automate their execution on the system using Malex, and we'll see how Bitdefender responds. Bitdefender does have advanced threat defense, which is the zero day component meant to identify suspicious behavior and block it. It also has the same antivirus that you get with the premium versions. The only major difference in this case would be that we don't have ransomware remediation. This is the ransomware recovery feature. So it's not the advanced threat defense. It's not a proactive or preventive feature, basically just a glorified backup. And that's not available here. But in terms of protection, we should see what Bitdefender is capable of. So far, so good. We're seeing a detection of 100% so far. Ooh. There was a miss and now it seems the test was terminated. So this is again, interesting behavior. I have noticed this with Bitdefender. They do like to terminate the entire attack chain when they notice an attack like this. The issue though, is it can often get in the way and it can end up quarantining legitimate applications like in the case of uh, Python or whatever was used to launch the malware. So they're not very precise when it comes to their detections. As you can see, Bitdefender identified a malware, crypt.exe and then terminated PowerShell and Python, the applications that were launching it. And that's what brought the test to a halt. All right, so I've made some modifications to test script to hopefully get around that, and we'll see if we can get the test to complete this time. So here we go. And so far, so good. We are seeing a lot of samples blocked as usual, but this time it didn't miss the sample it missed before. So that's very interesting. So it seems perhaps by executing it once, what happened is advanced threat defense caught on to it, and then it was blacklisted in the cloud. And so now it is going to be blocked immediately. So it's good to see how quick the system is in picking up something like that. So even if you have a sample that's unknown and Bitdefender catches it with one of its zero day components, it's going to be instantly blacklisted by the cloud, or at least that's what I think happened there. But in all fairness, given that these are infamous samples and well known at this point, I would have expected Bitdefender to know about each of them before. So if anything, I'm just a little bit surprised that one of them was not in their signatures. But now we're going to move on to the next part of the test. So what we're going to do now is run a lot more raw data on the system. That's going to be threats collected from various different blacklists. There might be some false positives. I don't even know what's in there, but we're going to run about 500 items and we're going to see how Bitdefender deals with it. We may have PUPs, Trojans, ransomware, everything. So we're gonna throw the kitchen sink at it and we'll see how it responds. Our samples are ready, so we're good to go. But I'm also going to open up Task Manager so you can see the CPU usage in real time as Bitdefender is working and blocking these threats. So far, we've got a detection of 97.83%, so maybe a couple of misses, but most of them are being blocked. Now, I don't want you to sit here all day, so let's speed it up, shall we?
so once again, it seems the test was terminated midway, but everything was going all right. I think we had a proactive detection of about 92% for the most part. I'm going to run some quick second opinion scanners and I'll see if anything was missed, anything significant was missed. Hitman Pro didn't find anything. It doesn't seem like there's anything much on the system. I did look through some of the auto runs and startup entries and there's nothing there. So it seems like Bitdefender managed to block all of the malware that was in there. Everything that executed that I noticed just looked like a false positive to me. And since we don't have any extra process or, um, you know, IOCs on the system, I think it's fair to say that everything was blocked. But it's important to note that Bitdefender can be overly aggressive, causing some of your applications to not work due to some of the behaviors we're seeing here. I have had it quarantine Python before while I was trying to run some tests, and it's definitely not impregnable. But I think that's something we'll explore more in another video when we do the MITRE test. But for now, this is still a very good product. There's a reason I put it in tier A. And now I think the UI is a lot more usable in the free version. So if you've been waiting to check out the new free version of Bitdefender, here you go. And I think you should be fine using it. The free version also comes with autopilot. So it's fully automated. So it's an easy solution to use and recommend. Also, as I mentioned, you may not find this product on their homepage at this point. So if you want to get it, use the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please like and share it if you did. I will be doing more tests with this. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see that stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. And now time for our sponsors. On the theme of free security products, this video is brought to you by CrowdSec a free open source intrusion prevention system. The project is on GitHub, so you can check it out today and install it on your favorite Linux box. I've already set it up on Ubuntu and it's super simple and easy to use. CrowdSec allows you to ingest alerts from various sources, parse through the logs and build your own intrusion detection system. You can set up custom rules, leverage the community blacklist and automate your entire security process. So if you're an individual or company looking to monitor alerts from various different sources, this is a great tool to do it. You can also deploy an agent on Windows, which is currently in alpha. Once you have it set up, you're going to look at the CrowdSec console. This is going to show you a bird's eye view of all your agents, scenarios, and alerts. You've also got access to cyber threat intelligence. So this is where you can look up any kind of IP that you like. So I'm just gonna paste a malicious IP here. And if we do a search, it's gonna give us the confidence level and the various actions associated with it. So as you can see, this one is flagged as a bad actor. The attack details show it's an HTTP scanner and crawler. You can see the reporting period and it can also make a comment. So it's very much community driven. And while some parts of the project are still in development, still in beta, this is a great time to jump in and start playing around with the tools, getting involved with the project. So check them out, link in the description, show them some love for supporting the PC Security channel. This is Leo, thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.